Welcome to MacMotion Lathe CAN Cycles. This video will give you an overview of the CAN Cycle structure. For more information about the specific cycles available, please watch our other videos. CAN Cycles revolve around the job list, seen here, currently empty. To add a cycle to your job, simply click the cycle you desire, fill in your information, and click Add to Job. Once you have all the cycles you want, click Post. Post will ask you to save your file. Once you have done so, it will create G-code for you and show you your toolpath. There are specific things you can do with every cycle. If you double-click on one, it will bring up its wizard with all the information filled in for you, so you may edit it. Click Update when you are done. If you right-click on a cycle, you may rename it. Enter a new name for it and click OK. Clicking on the green check mark will disable a cycle. A disabled cycle will not be included in any post files. Clicking on the red X will re-enable it. Cycles can also be removed from a job by using this button or duplicated. When you duplicate a cycle, you must enter a new name for this cycle. Cycles can also be exported. When you export, you are asked to save that individual cycle. That cycle may now be ex imported later into another job. You may use this button up here as Save As. When you save as, it will duplicate your current job as a new file. The Save button, currently disabled because we have no edits, will save your current job. This button will allow you to load a new job. Now that we have loaded a new job, let's import that file that we just made. You can see that it added our cycle to the end of the list. We can use these buttons to move it to the front, or this one to move it back down. Now that we have two cycles, let's see them together. You can see we have a facing cycle and a turning cycle. If we disable our turn cycle, we can post and we'll see just the facing cycle, and vice versa, we can see just the turn cycle. There are two methods to managing your settings. One is to load last cycles. This means that every time you start a new cycle, it will load the previous cycle of that type you made. If I were to make a new turn cycle right now, it would have all that values of that other turn cycle that we just made a minute ago. If we say use settings, or use defaults in our settings, then every time we create a new cycle, it will use the values you provide here. If we click Save, we can see that. Our turn values are now gone, replaced by these. Your custom G-code settings are used regardless of if you use defaults or last cycles. This means you will either use imperial units or metric units. Your dwell times are set for all cycles. And the precision of your decimal places is set here. We can go look at other cycles and see that we are at three decimal places here. If we go into our settings and change this to four and save, then we can see that it has gone up to four decimal places. Your custom G-code header is included at the beginning of every G-code file. Your custom footer is included at the end of G-code file. Your save start is included everywhere that we provide a save start. This is at the beginning and end of every cycle before and before and after every tool change. Your custom G-code tool change will be included at all tool changes. This has been an overview of the MacMotion lathe can cycles. We hope you enjoyed it and if you want more information please watch our other videos.